happy solar return bowls and some bowls and welcome back to the tarot temple here at spirit vibes once again for your work money and romantic guidance i hope everyone is doing well i know Taurus season is about to end but what never ends is new subscribers i like to thank my newest ones who just actually one walked in last night to the temple door so we want to um, thank her so much for becoming a part of the Tarot Temple family here at Spirit Vibes. And I also like to thank my subscribers who have been faithful to the temple since the day they joined. Coming to the temple on a regular basis, if not every week, showing up even when I didn't. I'm very grateful and very blessed to have you. You are the temple, okay? Um, if you didn't get a chance to really check out the intros, please remember to support the temple um, with your likes. You can do that now. Anytime you see me shuffling, it's a great time to remind yourself or it is an indication to go ahead and give the Tarot Temple or the bid, the forecast, some support, okay? Also support the Temple by checking the description box on a regular basis, if not every time that you come, okay? Book a reading, check the links below, check out magic.com, do some shopping, check out Romance at Work, and if you like contribute at Tide, check out the Cash App link. I made it very simple for everybody. All right, overall energy this week we have is the Page of Cups. All right. And that is based on the Page of Pentacles. What can you expect? The Tower this week. Oh, wow. You may be connected to Aries or you may be on a cusp. Um, it's all stemming from the Three of Swords. And your outcome is the Queen of Wands. Okay, what's going on underneath all of this is the Six of Cups. And this is your sweet familiar. You're going back where you have fun. You know, going back. This could be the workplace, you know, where you be giving high fives and, and kicking it. You know how you have fun on the gig? <laughs> this is the sweet return, baby. This is where you want to be, you know. This is the Six of Cups says, I am comfortable. I feel at home. You know, it's it's sweet. You feel um, cared for. You know, you can even call it love. It may not be love, but it's that feeling. And I love the feeling. You know, that loving feeling. <laughs> Underlining that energy is dealing with um, publishing. Okay, books. This could be a bookstore. I don't know, a cafe shop, some of you. Maybe you work for a publishing company. Maybe you work for a company that sells books, you know. Um, you know, magazines, all kinds of publishings, whatever they may be. Or this may be dealing with school, studies. This could also be going back to the, to the campus, to the dorm room, seeing your friends again, okay? Um... And maybe you in communications, English, literature, things of that. Yeah, the King of Swords, that's the educator right there. This is for some of you, this is definitely for those who are in school, okay, or thinking about education, okay. It's based on the page of pentacles, if this is an ideal concept or how you're going to get something to work. This is your focus. This is what you, your interest. You've been given something, some of you. You've been given something. Now you have to decide whether or not if, if it's going to work for you, how you're going to work it, what you're going to... You know, it's, 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 it's brainstorming time. It's brainstorming time. Either you've done this or you will do this or you're in the middle of it. This is, can also be a confirmation. If it fits, knit it together. If it doesn't fit, please quit, okay? This may not be your cycle. This may not even be your reading. You may be in another house in your chart that's why i say get that natal birth chart know what time you were born so it will be accurate when you receive it and know three things sun moon and rising if you don't know nothing else when you come to the temple you should be viewing at least three days don't get lazy this is this is a classroom this is a school this is about growth this is not about just sitting back trying to find out what the hell is going on whether with you or anybody else the temple is about spiritual Grow. It's an education center. You need to come with learning tools. Don't be laying back just thinking, hey, I just want to hear what's going on in the day. I mean, it's a forecast. It's a your life weather report, but it's deeper than just turning on the 5 o'clock news and getting a weather report, okay? And the stress of it all, okay? 
you're in a lot of pressure and stress, you may really physically be under this kind of sweating, you know what I'm saying? You know, trying to keep it cool under pressure, you know? And, and you don't let nobody see this. Some of you even cry. You're feeling kind of, I'm hearing heartbroken. You're feeling ready. You're ready. You're feeling like a third wheel, some of you. Um, this could be dealing with a betrayal, a betrayal within this, this uh, sweet exchange, your workplace, the school, whatever. Some of you may feel betrayed or maybe you betrayed somebody. You feel sad about it. It's on your conscience. Brainstorming and consciousness is going on here. I don't know why. And some of you, this is this pain. Like, how is this going to work? It's like you said, how is this going to work? I don't know if this is supposed to be a raise or something that you, you're supposed to be working with this. How is this going to work? That's not enough. What the hell is that? But for some of you, this is heartbreak. I keep hearing heartbreak in this Six of Cups. And your overall energy is that sweet exchange. Again, in this Six of Cups here. Okay, that's the coochie, coochie, coochie. Somebody trying to suck up to you. Are you trying to suck up to them? You know, maybe to get some information, to know what's going on, to see how somebody feels. Because somebody had some type of idea in their head, you know, and maybe it's not working. Stemming from heartache or some betrayal here. And this can also be like those deep feelings you have for somebody. You know, you have them deep feelings for somebody. You know, you're keeping them hidden. You know, when they come, you start sweating. You don't know how to be. You may be high, like, oh, my God, they heal. Oh, my God. You want to see how this is going to work. Like, I don't know how we're going to fix this. How's this going to work? I don't know some of y'all. But again, here's that realization here. Something comes to mind. Okay, a spark. I'm hearing swindle here too. I don't know what's going on. You've been swindled? Or oh, you swindled somebody? some of you, you're going to get something off of your chest too, because of this. You know, it may come as a surprise to people. You may surprise yourself. Because I feel like you don't even know you're going to do this. It just comes out of nowhere when you speak your mind. You know, because you're under pressure. You got to get this off your chest. Stop playing with me. Okay? Stop playing with me. I'm not with that trifling shit. Stop playing with me. So this is money or some concept, some idea somebody had. Some little plan they had in their head. It's a core issue about coming back. Some of this may be about whatever this is. It could be about something that you've read or that you've studied. Again, okay, yeah, the, the king, I forgot. The king of sword is under this. It's definitely about learning something, some lesson, some something academic. But I know you're definitely under a lot of pressure and stress. And, and I'm still seeing tears here. And these three of swords, uh, I, I don't know if this is betrayal, you've been hurt, but this is really disappointed. And I'm also seeing stress, a lot of stress. And you just realize, you know, I, 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 this got to be something about work. I keep hearing, how is this going to work? I'm going to work with that. 
Because maybe you was down with it at first. You was cool with it. Maybe you did. Then, then you realized something like, what the, somebody's getting over or... Something about turning the light on. You know? I'm also hearing hiding your hand. That's coming out of distress. Did I say something about hiding your hand? I don't know if it's got something to do with some money or a plan. But it's got you under stress. I know you got a support person. You got somebody behind you. You got a leg to stand on now. You got a leg to stand on. Whatever this is, you got a leg to stand on. And I see the outcome is uh, either you or somebody. Queen of Wands, energy. Okay? The, the Jill and Jera trade shows up. She has um, the ability to do many things at once. And maybe that was the plan, because things are broken. Let me see. You know, maybe this could also be something that you have to put together. This is Mercury retrograde, so I would not be surprised now that I think of that. You may this may be something that you had paid for that you have to put together. Okay? You know, all these parts and pieces and shit. You have to read this shit. You know, and that's what's the friend like, oh my God, you ordered this shit. You're like, oh my God, I put all of this shit together and it's stressful. You know, I feel like you've been sucking into this. They sweet talked you into this. But you're going to get it together or you're going to get somebody to help you. This could be your sister, a friend, I don't know, your mate. But baby, you know what I, you know what she told me? You make it look good. Because the outcome, you make it look good. Okay? You like, hmm. You know, you did that shit. Whatever you think, and you look and you looking good doing it too. You know what I'm saying? You make it look good. After all of this. Okay? After all of this. You make it look good. Okay? You come. Sitting on top with your hand on your hip, like now what? You waiting on them, you know? Or maybe you telling somebody to hurt and fix that shit. <laughs> Get it done. Get it done. Because it's a lot of shit to be fixed. The hell? Waiting on you. Something needs to be fixed. I'm waiting on you. Okay? I don't know if you need, uh, you got the support. You know, you got a lot of hands here. This week, when it comes to work, money, and romance, looks like more like work <laughs> and no money. You got hat as your summary for this week's work and money. You ready to go, ain't you? You got elf as your underlining acronym. I don't know what it applies to. It could be the initial of somebody's name, the acronym for a company name or some idea that you have, okay? It could be a building elf. I don't know. Elf Lane, I have... No clue. Why am I hearing Fatima? I don't know why I'm hearing Fatima. I ain't heard that name in a long time. And yet Fatima. I like that name. Um I'm also hearing a tie. Tie. A bandana. I don't know. Maybe getting ready to go take care of some business. Like, how do I look? How do I look at my hat? You ready to go? Or well, this is somebody arriving. This could be a visitor as well. Maybe Gucci, Gucci. Okay. Maybe that's you sucking up to them. You need them to come and help you fix this shit. Come and work this stuff out. Because you waiting. <laughs> Looking pretty in the outcome. Let's go ahead and get Spirit Divine Oracle message. Wow. Yep. This is somebody from the past. That car just turned around. This is a return. It is. 
this, this is a return. Somebody's been gone. This is Mercury Retrograde. Remember, people will revisit. We in the re for the next three and a half weeks, baby. And it ain't easy. So stay greasy. Because you got a long way to slide <laughs> for three and a half weeks, baby. You have church. Is that where you going? Oh, you may be. We got we could be the temple here. We got the dial here as well. This deals with principles of life. Oh, how to live, how to react, how to respond. You have church. What kind of church? You know, maybe you're going to church. That's why you need your tie, your scarf. You need your hat. You get dressed. I said somebody somebody looking pretty. Is that the stress of it all? Maybe that's what you're resulting to. Uh, because of your Because of a dismantling, disappointments, your pains, your suffering, your aches. I don't know. Church also deals with like, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a learning institution, you know, that deals with uh, beliefs. You're dealing with belief systems this week. And I'm going to leave it on that note. Thank you so much. Okay, and she, uh, she told me to throw in there something about your holy grail. Okay, so I'm going to leave it on that note. And thank you so much, Bowls and Sun Bowls, for tuning to the Tarot Temple once again here at Spirit Vibes. You know, I can't wait to bring you another one. But until then, remember to walk by faith and your third eye. Sorry to next week. Peace be unto you and one love. Remember.